Well, hello, everybody. How is everyone doing today on this fine Sunday? I'm really excited about today's show. Um, we're going to do a little bit of cooking. We're going to do a little bit of all kinds of uh, fun stuff we got going on today. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with something that is on sale right now. So we have the pink selfie stick here. I love this thing. I film with it all the time when I'm not using my regular camera. Um, it's pretty cool because it can literally hold just about anything here. So I'm going to go ahead here. Here we go. Yep, that's what it looks like. Pretty easy. I love it. This pink selfie stick also has like cameras and you can make it a tripod and all kinds of fun stuff. <laughs> all right. So yeah, that's the pink selfie stick here. All righty, all righty. Let's take a look. Here we go. Let's see. I'm going to pull some stuff up here. All right. Okay. There we go. Okay, okay. So we're going to go ahead and get started with our cooking show today. All right. Just look in here. We're going to go with the Chef IQ Smart Pressure Cooker, as you can see right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. We are going to cook up some chicken. What's really nice is you can actually do quite a few things here. Um, you can pressure cook. You can sear and saute. You can steam. You can slow cook. Um, you can also look up all kinds of recipes on here, and it's going to give you all kinds of different recipe options, um, how much. But what's really nice about this is you actually can um, – it connects to your cell phone. So if you're looking for a recipe on the app, you can click the recipe and the recipe will give you all of the ingredients you need. And with one click of a button, it'll send all the ingredients to Instacart, which is totally wild and takes out all of the extra of like planning a meal that, you know, cooking. Um, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and start this up. I'm going to cook some of this chicken over here. So I'm actually going to use the sear and saute. Um, setting on this pressure cooker here. Use sear and saute. I'm gonna move it down to chicken. I'm gonna do this. Put three pieces. And it's basically pulling up all the settings that you need for it. And I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead. It says to go ahead and add some oil or butter, so I'm going to put a little bit of oil in here. There we go. That's going to go ahead and get all heated up for us. I'm actually going to get some garlic, too, out of the fridge, which is what I have here. I'm going to make sure I press start. And so what it's going to do, it's going to heat up the oil for me right now. I'm going to put some garlic in my pot here. There we go. Voila. Easy peasy. And that should be heating up. It is. Okay. While that's heating up, I'm going to also talk about the Chef IQ uh, meat thermometers. These are also cool because they can connect with your phone. So in real live time, you can see the meat temperature. It gives you status of everything um, and set all of those things. So you do see that um, there's some promos going on that you can check out. They got the different styles here for different types of probes that you'd use. There's like the thin probes. There's also the charging dock um, and replacement um, meat thermometer things there. And so I, what I have here is I have the different sets. So you can actually do the 
two set, there's a three set. These are like extra probes. The kit itself looks like this. The Chef IQ smart thermometer. And it's really cool because like you can set the category of meat. You can say what kind of meat it is, the cut, the thickness, and it'll tell you about how long it takes to do that. And while you're cooking, you can connect to your phone um, and it prepares all kinds of different things for you. So here's the back of the box, as you can see here. Really nifty things. I love the Chef IQ products. They do fabulous. This pressure cooker, um, smart cooker that we're cooking on today is one of my favorites. I actually use it almost every day now on um, for cooking for dinner. I'm going to be preparing some chicken today as well. And so I'm going to go ahead and go back to my pressure cooker. It seems like... It's telling, it's also going to tell me how much um, longer till the oil is preheated, which is pretty cool. And okay, here we go. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just put in my chicken there. And it's going to start cooking and sauteing that for me. You don't need to put the lid on, but I'm going to put the lid on because it, it seems to cook it a little bit faster. And on here, it's telling me how long it'll take to cook this. I'll periodically open that and, you know, stir around the chicken. So um, I, I love these cutting boards that I cut the chicken on, the royal um, wood cutting boards here. These are like phenomenal. Um, I've had them for a few years and the quality, they've just upheld um, and they're very easy to clean. I'm gonna go ahead and clean these off while that chicken's cooking. So while I'm cooking there, the next thing here I have is the scrub daddies and scrub mommies. These things freaking are awesome. What's really nice about these is they have a sponge side to them as well as a scrubber side. I've never owned a sponge that could get off like really hard, sticky food. These things are like magic and they last a really long time. My, my, my sister actually got me hooked to using these things. So the scrub daddies and the scrub mommies, um, I have in the carousel a couple different sizes and use cases there. I think my dog's eating something. What are you eating? <laughs> Dog decided to eat some kind of paper. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. I'm going to continue to go ahead and clean these dishes here. All right. So tell me in the chat, is the, what are the things you're cooking today for dinner? What is just some of the things you absolutely don't like cooking? Because I'm not a big cooker either. I actually loathe it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, smart cooker's been really nice. Okay, there we go. Okay, nice. So I was able to clean the cutting board with the scrub mommy and scrub daddy there. These things are really nice. 
They also have the Scrub Daddy eraser sponge, which is fun. And there's Scrub Daddies. So by far worth the investment in those Scrub Daddies. They last forever and you won't use anything else to wash your dishes. Okie dokie. There's that. Next things next is the these baggie holders. These things are amazing when you're doing food prep. What's really cool is they hold the bags open for you. Let me go ahead here and open these up. And I'll show you how they work. So basically you have your Ziploc bag here. And just slide it on. And you can make it bigger. I'm going to make mine taller since they're the big bags. And so basically what it'll do is it'll hold the bag open for you when you're doing food prep. And I have a couple different sizes and sets in the carousel there. Oh, so the next thing I have here that I use quite frequently is my teapots. Um, these things are amazing. They look really good on the stove, too, because I make some hot tea. Um, I also use it for some of my Verily's products that you see back here when I am making the hot chocolate or hot tea or some of the products there. Um, so it's nice to have a good teapot for that stuff. Okay. Put these down. Here we go. Ah! And as you can tell, these things all come apart, so they're easily washable. Okie dokie. There we go. There's that. All right. I'm going to go ahead and check on my chicken. Smell pretty good. Yeah, it's already almost halfway cooked, which is nice. That's cooking up pretty good there. All right, so the next thing I have here is the Stanley Thermos. Um, coffee thermos. This thing is uh, phenomenal. So you're, I'm sure you're used to the Stanley Cup um, craze, but this is I use, my husband actually uses this for work, and it holds basically a big pot of coffee, and um, he uses it every day for work, and the coffee stays hot all day. Like when he comes home, it's literally still hot in here when I dump it out and clean it. Okay, the next thing we have here is this um, Hamilton Beach Brew. What I like about it is it does have the regular coffee pot, but then also on the other side, it is a coffee um, Keur Keurig, and it's pretty easy to use, too. So let me open this up here. Just pop it open. Oh, of course, my daughter left a K-cup still in there. Um, but what's nice is you can do, like, actually, like, a small Carafe of coffee on the one side, or you can make it a pure cup, K cup um, size. It does come with like delayed settings for like timer. Um, if you want to set it for the morning, you do have like the, the normal time and everything like that. Really good, um, simple to use two in one coffee or K cup maker. Okay. Nice. Also, demonstrating here, this paper towel holder. <laughs> Nothing too fancy. Just wanted to give you my, my kitchen apparel there. That's what I have my paper towel on if you uh, have questions about it. Okay, so the next thing that's really exciting is these um, Whiskey Rocks um, glasses. These things are pretty cool. I have snacks in them right now, so you can use them for both. And um, what's really nice is these actually come with a ice ball that you can create. Comes with these plastic. 
things to create ice balls. So as you can see in there, there is a nice ice ball that you can pop out and create an ice ball for your whiskey. So really cool set. It does come with that. Um, one of my favorite features there is the nifty ice balls. I like ice in my drinks. So good thing to have there. Alrighty, go ahead here. Cooking up this chicken here. That's cooking pretty good. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so then the next thing we have here going on is these silo nuts. I have them in the whiskey glasses, actually. These are the hazelnuts. These hazelnuts are really good just for a regular snack. So if you are having a drink, um, they're really light and toasty, but also really good for any type of baking needs throwing them in oatmeal, throwing them in a snack and go. So these silo organic roasted nuts, really good brands, highly recommend. They are all organic and um, just straight up hazelnuts, no bioengineering in here. So good product here for snack. Okay, next thing I have is the Barrelly's cacao powder. All right, so this cacao powder is fantastic for um, making hot chocolate, for baking chocolate cake. Anything that you need, honestly, for um, chocolate needs. I make some a uh, killer, um, what do you call them, no-bake cookies. So it, this, this honestly should replace your Hershey powder. It is all organic, it's really good, and you get a really good bag in there for the cost of it. So really good product there. The next thing is the Barrelly's Black Cumin Seed Powder. Comes in a really big box here. I use this in some of my organic, like I use it for creating like a cream for like my face and stuff. Um, but I also use it and I can sprinkle some of this for the health benefits on my veggies. It gives like a, like a smoky type taste to it. Okay. Next thing I have here is the mulberry bit mix. It's black and white mulberries. These actually taste really good on some oatmeal here. And same thing for the dried tart cherries. We throw these in some oatmeal. And as you can see here, we have some oatmeal with some cherries and mulberry mix in there. It's really good, gives you some fruit. It's all organic, all natural. Um, the cherries and the mulberries are also good for snacking. I really like the cherries. They are unsweetened, so you don't have to worry about the added sugar. And good stuff there. Okay. So that, my friends, is um, all the products today. Again, we featured the um, Chef IQ Smart Cooker. And I'll show you right now what the chicken looks like. It's almost done cooking. But that is the chicken. Easy, easy, easy. Easy peasy. Mm, these cherries are still so good, too. Love these cherries. So, and it was cool. It actually told me, flip the food when we're eating cooking. There we go. So, for the ADHD hustle, Juliana says, have a great week. Looking forward to uh, talking to you all again. Talk to you guys later.